and hey guys, it's Riley, and welcome back. Now, you guys don't know this, but we are still going um, after that live stream, which is why I have changed shirts. shirts. Go, Go figure. figure. Um, <laughs> this is literally right after. Yeah, um, it's like midnight, so this may sound really stupid, especially if I start getting giggly like I am. Oh god. Um, so we are continuing. Let's go. Oh, I've already spoke to you about this. Um, since we have just finished the fight, in order to give us a short rest that we should not have been able to have, or even a long rest, I mean, is an hour considered a long rest? No, no. Okay. No, an hour is a short rest. Okay, well, I can give you guys a little short rest. Um, since there is ice all over our current area, I'm going to use the Shape Water Can trip to morph that ice into a barrier over all of us so we may take a rest. Okay. So we now all have our spell slots all back. Right. And, and how long does this take? Is it just like. It looks like a small cave. Or is it like a special type of architect where it, it looks like a small cave? Like, like it, it looks, looks like, like a, a hobbit hole, hole just, just more, more cave like. Alright. Um and it lasts for an hour before it cancels out. Um yeah. So we all. I also gain my sorcery points back because I gain four back every time I complete a rest. Alrighty. Um, Madam J, you are allowed to roll your hit die however many you want. She would gain hit points. You cannot go past your max total, however. And I also <coughs> have you do this for Wyatt, your peacock. I forgot we were recording for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and, and your peacock's hit die is 1d8 plus 3. Yeah. We are recording, right? Yes. Yeah. I mean, I don't know this is a good tranquility as well. Alright, so why are you against all of the hit points? Oh, let me actually look at my. She's so good with the dumbass DM. Not angry. There it is. Yeah, the is back up to max health. We destroyed those things, though, for real. Well, they were only challenge rating four, so. I bet you didn't expect me to use all the dalzeems. And Madam J, you also regain your hit points. So you're back at 112. Alright, and no one else. Mm -hmm. I just got back by one key. Woo! So, in. This is a swarm of unique shelter that they have provided you, which is the ice that was that made the terrain difficult. That Gilman, I forgot her name, <laughs> had created for the snake battle. Uh, also, when the one hour hits, it should unfreeze. Yes, it should unfreeze. So you guys will not. You'll be long away from that when it unfreezes and it will turn to water and then evaporate immediately. Um, so while you have an hour to rest very shortly, you take this. You guys don't really sleep because you have a roaring volcano behind you. It's very deafening almost, and you can hear fireballs hitting the ground around you. I said that's just a volume gesture, gesture, gesture around you to where it would startle you start away. Unless away. you were a very immediate, heavy sleeper. Nisa, Nisa is not. Yes. No. 
and the terrain is still the same as it was before, so if there's no plant life right where you are in this 30 foot diameter area. Um, the mountain is black, there is ash beneath your feet and a five inch layer. So you leave footprints behind when you're going up the mountain and ash is falling suit along with it. Choking on air almost for her to breathe. More bits of humor. I know. And then I will leave it all up into your guys' hands. If you ask Gilman any questions, she can answer them. Uh, Nisa, Nisa turns, turns to Gilman and is a little inquisitive, especially after the fight that they just encountered. And she wants to know what is the elemental. She looks at you kind of like you're almost stupid because she's old and how could you know? Explained it enough earlier. I'll tell, I'll tell you again. again. Enlarge the barbarian. Do not enlarge the barbarian chest. Not yet. <laughs> so, so her golden eyes look at you and her, her bushy eyebrows or her grainy color and a girl underneath her hat. You still haven't figured it out what this monster is? Her little quiet and squeaky voice pips up. Um, go ahead and roll me a percent. Perception check? Perception? Yeah, perception. She's very, very quiet, so every time you can get a conversation. Uh, I'm proficient. Gotta remember what it is. It's, uh, it's a... What's the perception rolls again? Wisdom. Three plus six is nine. You can hear her. It's very squeaky like it was before, and you hear her. Maybe not as well as you did in the tavern because of the roaring volcano that's active and alive very much so. But you can hear her. Um, her, 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 sorry, sorry I that's not her. This is a phoenix. How could you not figure it out? This is, this is one of the elementals you can only summon to wreak havoc on the world. Damn. That was out of character. She Nisa kind of goes a little wide-eyed at the old woman telling her that it's a phoenix we are to encounter. A phoenix? Why, I don't think I've ever seen one. Oh, thank you. You have the luxury of not seeing one. Birds of fire and death omens. She doesn't like phoenixes whatsoever. You, you can hear this in her voice. Almost as if it was tying to some, back to something in her past. You can see her kind of rubbing her arm as she, she lets this emotion out. Why is it that you seem to feel this way towards the phoenix? Oh, they're, they're pests. They're, they're disasters. Machines of doom and destruction. How could you not feel this? Well, I've never encountered one, so it's not like I have room to speak. I see Madame Day taking so I'll go ahead and let her get some words in. You got a problem with words? What an intimidation check! <laughs> Ooh, um, oh, I would say roll again. Yeah, let's roll again. Oh, roll again. 
Sure so as you roll up your sleeve, Gil Gilman kind of glances at you at the side of her eye. And she can see by your, your body features and your gestures. So not anger in a sense, but definitely like, how dare you speak foul about the birds? It's birds. I love birds. Just don't really care. I lost my train of thought. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's that time of day. <laughs> well, no, I just I'll do that. My my, my mind goes like, like a thousand miles per minute. Apologies. Um. So Gilman, even though that you tried to intimidate her, she's, she's unfazed, unfazed, and she just says. Yeah. No, no, I do not have a problem with it. It is those monstrosities that I have a problem with. Hello, Jay's personality traits birds, also birds. <laughs> Oh god, the Irish is coming to me because I just texted somebody and I was like, I'm ticklish, you bastard. <laughs> the Irish is coming out. Oh no. I'm also oh, Irish. Irish. Continue. Wait, what? So the power is all in the earth as you can just keep on going. Um, yeah. Um, Lisa, Lisa is, is going, going to kind of just, just look at the girl. Um, well, well I, don't I don't know what, what you've, you've ever experienced, experienced Little Phoenix, Phoenix, whether it be just folklore, folk tales, or what, what have, have you, you, but you obviously have some sort of resentment. So, with that, why don't we all go after it and get rid of it by this point? I don't know if you're typing. Or her crush. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. If you, if you definitely want to clone um, Ferris, you gotta ask this to Christian first. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> I wanted to see what would happen. As you mentioned that you should continue on a normal party, Gilman's face doesn't twist in any way, it just stays neutral and she just nods her head. <laughs> Who is that for? Who is that directed towards? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Madam. Probably fair. Oh, you, you want you want a bit of my uh, bit of my <laughs> Yeah, want a bit of my bit of what what, what, what were you say uh, almost half cooked meat, want a little of this partial meat. I gave her a piece. Is that any point in time? Sad. One, two, two, three, 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 just go, go right on ahead. Right I <laughs> 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 
Adam J will have a baby? That's a terrifying <laughs> thought. <laughs> oh no! Oh, there was a phone. Did she actually try to stab me or something? Oh wait, did she literally try the stab right in front of me?
Did we lose Josh? Joshua. Josh. We thought we lost you. Josh. Joshua. Oh, he fell asleep. No, I'm here. I'm here. I don't have a chat to where we can like. No, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. So your cover melts. You, you guys have that ash and so, and you're damp now um, from the shelter melting because your hours up. Yes. Do you recover fully? Um, and I don't know if you want to really cast clone matter, Jay, but if you want to, then it is available. Okay. okay. I feel like the shelter is no more, you guys. You do see a clear path of the mountain. And Gilman takes no time to just go right ahead and start leading the way. No. If, if Matt and Jay were to clone Farrick as a child, I'd be a little scared she'd eat the baby and throw it up for her birth. I would be a little afraid she would do that. I don't know. Chew. <laughs> there is no answer. There is only question. Is Madam always like this for everyone she meets? Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, if you care to get caught up, uh, Farrick, there are three other videos of this particular campaign uh, on my YouTube. It's under a different name. Yeah, it's called The Bird Lord's Murder Den. Mm -hmm. And, uh, does Madam still have, like, any birds near her? She still has... Wyatt. And Hmm. And from those days, I'm gonna go with Chester for the one that's... They deserve. The one that tried to pet it. Pet it. Madam J, um, Farrick would like to pet Azur. <laughs> so you are able to pet the bird, Farrick. Alright, am I feeling anything different from a typical bird? <laughs> About to the 60 shorty. I have been through it, I know I have been through it. Boy, oh boy, I have a massive brain parts. Um, can we end this one in an hour, because I'm actually starting to tired now. That way it'll be just cut in the segment, so that way I don't have to worry about editing it, I can just upload it. And then we can continue tomorrow or whenever. So as, as you pet the small blue jay, is he small? Is this is this very small? Smallish. 
Okay. So, Azure is just bigger than a normal blue jay. That's what we're going on. I, I looked at the picture. I didn't really read all of his stats. Like, the dumbass I am. He glimpsed over it. But, as you comb your hand through his feathers, it, they almost feel chilled to the touch like how you would touch a ghost. And you can touch them, you can feel that they're there, but they almost seem transparent. Like the very tips of them just seem to just have your hand pass through them. And he's very, very soft. And he chirps. And not pleasure, but definitely content. Ugh, funny bird. I like it. Then we'll go for the other one. <laughs> tweet, tweet, bitch. Alright, that one is Wyatt. He is a peacock. I haven't really decided what his personality is. Squawks and begins squawking him. And the barbarian just can't stand the squawk. So he just looks at it very annoyed and almost angry as this peacock just starts squawking and happy and just absolutely loving head pass because he loves head pass. So he walks over to you in the corner um, and just he relishes it in affection and just squawks loud and boisterous, like, oh yeah, I'm getting a function. Look at me. And his tail feathers shimmer and emerge as he's squawking. Totally not going to the grass with me. No? <coughs> There's bandages that are red with a cloak on. I to mention I was wearing a cloak. Well, let's say they were originally kind of like brownish, kind of brownish uh, bandages, but probably most of it now is just covered in blood. Especially since he doesn't, especially he spun the smell of him. He hasn't smelled like he has smelled, he hasn't taken a bath in, well, decades. <laughs> On Wyatt. So, Wyatt looks like a normal peacock. The only difference between him and Wilson, though, is what seems to have this this, bra this brass kind of collar on him with his feathers, and his feathers look like there's a brass collar, but it's completely natural to where his it's his feathers and not a collar. Had a big oh boy, it's it is late, late. That's why I said we'll cut it at the hour. Yeah. So, so yeah, why it's quite special. You've you've given him a special perk, Madam J. That's that's why why it has little feathers that resemble a bronze collar. You have some interesting birds. Madam. 
So I think I might be able to even get one myself. You know what I'm surprised? That uh, Lisa didn't do. Um, Eric's character are back. With the shade of water after. Actually, could I do that? You could. Nisa turns. <laughs> Nisa <laughs> turns to Farrick. And she just kind of. She's just sitting there staring a little bit. You know. She kind of dazed, dazed off for a minute, minute but she just thought, thought just staring at Farrick. And then suddenly. She kind of just raises her hand a little bit. And. There's suddenly water. Hey! Hey, Farrick! Hey, you, you, you wanna stay still for a moment? Um, what, what, why? Nisa then moves her hand and the water surges forward onto Farrick, bathing him at with, with high speed water. Farrick, you can make a dexterity save if you do not want to bathe. I mean, I just see water coming at me, so yes. Because <laughs> I don't know if this is water. <laughs> How dare you be? Come here. Oh, it doesn't okay. save my DC is 17. Yeah, but you want to. Is it really. Nah, it's not. Really. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm just saying it, so. Nope, I failed it. My spell save DC is 17, so... Oh, Alright. So, you, you get... Like, I would, but it's just not... I don't know, is it worth it? <laughs> is it worth it? Is it really worth it? <laughs> oh, gosh. Screw it, I'm gonna use luck. Alright, go on. Wait, you have that, that too? Oh, my like, damn it. Oh, right. You, you see the surge of water and just go all tail or not and just proceed to black backflip away from this water as it and then Madam J, go ahead and make me a deck save along with uh, that one peacock who I just forgot the name of. Wyatt. Wyatt, yeah. Oh, that fails. <laughs> make one for your bird, too. <laughs> Let me just make a little roll here really quick. <laughs> make a make a deck save Wyatt. Make Wyatt one too. Um. Meanwhile, I'm making a a small roll. Uh, just says one d twenty no mods. Oh, 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 God. Uh, so, so both you and, and Wyatt as, um, oh boy, I keep on getting your name. Madam J? Arkin. Eric. Eric, yeah, I'm, I'm really tired, I apologize. That's right. Eric, as he dodges out of the way with beautiful backflips, Madam J and Wyatt, you are just, you're met with a surge of cold water. And it just, it douses you before the water impacts why he just lets out this one wild. <laughs> and you're not knocked back or not knocked prone, you're just, you're soaked now. And now. It's all mad and just evil and, and your hair is covering your face. And you have makeup on. Your makeup is just. Sliding down your face now, and Wyatt is now wet and unhappy, so he's hot. He's squawking. 
in distrust of anger. Um, now Frey, I bet you're wondering what my role was for. Yes, I am. Um, it was a, it was a dex roll. Um, I'm chasing after him now with another surge of water because I'm actually allowed to do that. Um, it, there's even rules for that in the cantrip. Oh yeah, you can cast a spell multiple times. You have no more than two of its non-instantaneous effect at the time. You can dismiss effect such as an action. Um, that role was to chase him and tackle him with the water. So with <laughs> Lucian Exodus and cast the <laughs> Um, so doesn't he have to make a dex save? Yep. In order to avoid bathing, he can make as many dex saves as he wants. Uh, I just see water again. I'm going to avoid. That doesn't hit. <laughs> That's a fail. It's like, I still have no idea. Why are you? No, I'm going to ask you for the second one. Why is water being thrown at me? Because you need to bathe. <laughs> you think you bad. <laughs> Go ahead, use another luck point to try and get your way out of it. I dare you. I dare you. So now, I'm gonna use mine to, uh... <laughs> see, can't I do that? Uh, let me look really quick. Oh, I can't do it with that. There was something I had. There was something I had that I could do this with. Oh, shit. Oh, no, it's the one thing I can't use it with yet. God damn it. But now he has, like, one less luck point. Um. So, he beat it that time. But it's a cantrip. I can just do this again. As you're coaching, I'm moving up <laughs> to you. And I'm just gonna hold my fist right up on you. Throw another one. I dare you. Nisa just slowly raises her hand up in the air, and she just kind of smiles at you since you moved closer. Hey, Farrick! Pleasure seeing you here. <laughs> Wanna try water again? Oh, it's, it's holding above your head. She doesn't care if she gets wet. She's taking you down with her. Alright, to, to further the plot, you can try to um, go ahead and roll 1d20 for me, even though this is a pantry. Me? Mm hmm. <laughs> like, this is one of your sword. That came. Just one shy. So as you have the water right on top of Farrah, you just it just dissipates. It disappears completely, and you feel your magic just leave you. And even Madam J, just it's gone all of a sudden. Damn it, Freya! If you look to your right, you'll see Gilman standing there, tapping her foot, arms crossed. Very annoyed looking, even though she's only a foot and four inches tall. And she's patiently waiting and just giving this really foul look at you, Nisa. Nisa looks back over to Gilman. What? He needs a bath. And we have a bird to slay. She can have a bath when we get back at him. Okay, okay. This thing. And that? There's some of this blood on me. It was from my own family. And I certainly don't. And I always want to keep this on me so I don't forget of what I have done. Ooh, edgy. Background, come Edgy. And I just roar the fist. You made the right choice. And, and that, that, my friends, friends, is the end of this video. video. Uh, we will continue with the next one.
So if you guys like this video, click like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.